Hi, my name is Marco Cantu. Welcome to the second video about building rich business applications with FireMonkey. In this video, we will focus on cross-platform development for Windows, Mac, and iOS. As I mentioned, my name is Marco Cantu. I'm the author of a number of Delphi books, the Mastering Delphi series, and some recent books called Delphi Handbooks that have self-published and are available on Amazon. I'm a consultant and trainer, and you can get information about myself by following my blog. And if you're, if you're looking for public classes in US and Europe about Delphi, you can check the website DelphiDeveloperDays.com, which covers events I organize with Kerry Jensen. But I'm also available as a consultant and trainer uh, around the world, wherever your location is, I can come. There was a first video with an overview of demos written in FireMonkey and covered by my white paper that has been uh, published by Mercadero Technologies. The second video shows how you can actually create a FireMonkey application, very simple, the 101 demo, and run it on multiple operating systems. I'll do this. This time I'll show you the development step by step from scratch so you can actually see what's involved in building an application for Windows 32, for Mac OS X and for uh, iOS, all using FireMonkey. There will be extremely basic examples, nothing fancy, but just to get you to the foundations. So this is Delphi XC2. What we can do is we can create a new FireMonkey HD high definition application using Delphi. This is the form of the application and here we have a palette with components. We can pick one manually. For example, I'm going to use an edit control that I can place here, but we can also search for the controls with a filter and what I need is an edit box, a button, and a list box on the side. And I can place the components in the arrangement I want. This button has a caption. Now the caption is actually called text and the caption is called add topping to my pizza. And the caption in this case of the form is pizza toppings. Okay, so that's kind of just the, the bare bone. And then what we can do, we can hook an event handler and say well, that when the user clicks on the button, we want to uh, get our list box one control and take the items and add a new item. And this new item will be the text of the edit box. So that's, as I mentioned in the first video, identical to the code you write in Delphi VCL, but we do have a different uh, architecture behind the scenes. And also if we look at the definition of the control, that's actually very similar to a DFM file, but is a FireMonkey file definition. So this is our application and the first thing we'll do, the by default we get a Win32 program. So what we can do after saving it is to run the application on Windows. If we run the application, now we can use it rather easily and we can add tomato and add cheese to our pizza. Now the next step is to extend this application and adding a new target. We could add the 64-bit Windows target but that's not particularly thrilling. What we can do is we can add the Mac target. So now just by getting here what we can do is actually compile our application into with a, the exact identical source code into an OS 10 application. This is attached to a profile 
So this application, when I compile and run it, will be executed on under this on this computer with this host name through a platform assistant. It's kind of a remote debugger. So that's an application that sits in on the Mac and can receive the, the executable and start hit and debug. We can test our connection. So the Mac is actually there responding with the platform assistant running. Now if I hit the run button, what happens is that the application gets compiled, it gets deployed to the Mac and if we switch to the Mac virtual machine, we can, the, the platform assistant server will actually start our application. So this is our pizza topping application now running on the Mac and what we can do is again add tomato and olives and maybe mushrooms to our Mac based pizza. So that just by switching the target platform, we can recompile this application for Windows and for the Mac. Now, if we also want to have an application for the iOS, we actually have to create a new project. This time it will be a FireMonkey application for specifically for iOS. We get a form designer that has a, a different form factor, but what we can do, we can even cut and paste components to this new UI. So I'm just doing copy and paste and then adjusting the positions and size and some other visual elements. And also I want to get my uh, list box here. And maybe I should align it, but it's not a big deal. And now, of course, I also want to copy the same source code to the new application. And now what I can do, I can actually run this program and see if it actually behaves properly. Now, I'm, this is just a Windows clone of the iOS program. It's not the iOS program, it's not a simulator. In fact, in Delphi, I cannot actually build the uh, iOS program. What I can do is I can create the application. Uh, I'm going to uh, save it locally. And after I've saved it, I can use this small utility, export to Xcode. This will create an Xcode. It's a command line utility. will create an Xcode project for our application pointing to the same source code that we have here locally in the user, in the Delphi IDE. Now, what I have to do is to switch again to my iOS and find that, uh, that shared folder with the iOS FireMonkey application. This is my uh, source code folder as seen from the Mac. I can go into the Xcode folder and here there is the project for my application. It will be loaded inside Xcode, the development environment, and it will use the free Pascal compiler that has a specific version of FireMonkey so we can actually compile and run this application in the iOS simulator. Here is the program and again I can add my topics, toppings to the pizza. Of course I can use the local keyboard or I can just use the computer keyboard as this is just oh wait this is just running in the emulator 
and that's my fully working app for Mac OS for the iOS so in conclusion FireMonkey is a application platform that lets you build multi-tier applications for Windows Mac and iOS and more platform are expected for the future these apps are fast they are compiled and they use the GPU to deliver the best performance on multiple platform and all is built on the solid and reliable Delphi foundation thanks for viewing this video bye